so good evening to all uh, today i came to explain uh, about the how to calculate the bonding anti bonding electrons and bond order magnetic nature of the molecule generally we will use the method molecular orbital theory we will use to calculate the bonding anti bonding electrons bond order magnetic properties of the molecule but that uh, method will take the how much time it will take so without using the molecular orbital diagram by practicing also without doing any calculation also we can use the uh, this trick we can use so wh what is this trick so in this trick what we have to know for uh, to apply to know the this trick we have to know the atomic numbers you have to know we have to know the electronic configuration we have to know we have to know the um, that um, particular element is belongs to the which group these three only you have to know the, if you know these three without doing the calculation also you can easily identify the um, properties also you can identify now by taking the example some example i am taking so here i want to uh, here one molecule is there so here i want without do, without doing the molecular orbital theory i want to identify the um, bonding electron anti bonding electron i have to calculate bond order i have to calculate magnetic property i have to calculate that time what i have to do first of all how many electrons total number of the electrons present in the molecule you have to count so carbon whose atomic number is 6 so nitrogen whose atomic number is 7 total how many it is having the 13 electrons it is having the 13 electrons is there so 13 electrons is there next what we have to do next uh, this time no need to write the electronic configurations of the 1s to 2s to no need to write just we have to write the outer shell electronic configuration that is also p subshell electronic configuration only you have to write so carbon p cell electronic configuration is 2p2 so nitrogen electronic configuration will be like 2p3 this is only how to do the first step is count the how many electrons are present uh, in the total molecule you have to count second step is uh, write the electronic configuration of the p orbital you have to write the electronic configuration you have to write after writing the electronic configuration count the how many electrons present in the both p orbitals you have to count the both p orbitals so that means whatever how many molecule is there that molecule containing the p subshell containing the electron you have to count so total how many total p c containing the two p uh, carbon containing the two uh, valency electrons so how many valency electrons total 5 valency electrons is present molecules having the 5 valency electrons presented so here after writing that one just write the anti bonding just write the bonding like this a is nothing but the anti bonding b is nothing but the bonding for my convenience i written like this so whatever the number is there just you written like four number you have to write four will be the fix four will be the fix that means a without writing the p uh, subshell electronic configuration anti bonding r4 b r4 that means any molecule having the p subshell uh, uh, electronic configuration four that is the fixed value that is there so four will be the fixed value so that means without calculating the p subshell four are the bonding anti bonding electron so here five is there so if the number is uh, below six that means number is one number 2 that means uh, both the p subshell containing the electron numbers are below 6 or exactly 6 that 6 is equal to the bonding electron so here how many electrons is there here 5 electrons is there just you have to you have to add the these 5 electrons to the bonding so he will get the 9 electrons you will get only anti bonding sir 4 will be there so here now you can uh, calculate the bond order will be you can tell this is the anti bonding electron this is the bonding electron so if you are uh, doing the practice also without writing also you can easily calculate just you can uh, you can uh, calculate in the mind also you can calculate it this is the 2p2 this is the 2p3 total 5 electrons will be there 5 plus 4 9 9 will be there bonding anti bonding will be 4 so bond order how can you calculate 9 minus 4 by 2 is equal 5 by 2 is equal 2.5 5 already i made a one video how to calculate the bond order very uh, easily i will mention that video in the card once check that one so here 2.5 bond order is 2.5 anti bonding and bonding electrons are there so what about the magnetic nature so magnetic nature once see the how many electrons is there 13 electrons is there so it is even number or odd number that we have to identify if it is the even number uh, that is called as a diamagnetic nature if it is the odd number that is called as a paramagnetic nature except 
10 and 16 electron any molecule containing the 10 and 16 these all are paramagnetic that means like b2 and o2 like b2 and o2 so next example if you take the next example uh, i am taking the next example n2 i am taking the next example n2 so n2 that means you can write n plus n only way. so electronic configuration 2p3 2p3 total how many electrons total 14 electrons is there sure total 14 electrons will be, will be there so for uh, 2p3 2p3 so to have to count the electrons so to, to have to count the electron here three electrons will be there here three electrons will be there total how many six electrons is there so just you have to write the antibonding bonding so fixed value 4 4 we have the fixed value so below uh, number exactly equal to 6 is there so the six you have to add to the bonding electrons you have to add so total will be 10 so antibonding will be 4 only so bond order will be like 10 minus 4 by 2 say so 6 by 2 is equal 3 so bond order will be 3 antibonding electrons are only 4 electrons are present the 6 is belongs to this and uh, bonding electrons are the 10 bonding electrons is presented so it is the uh, 14 is a uh, even number so it is the diamagnetic nature it is a diamagnetic nature so next uh, example i want to calculate the o2 i have to calculate it so o2 so see here o2 having the 16 electronic system system so 16 electronic system it is a paramagnetic in nature so first of all i have to write electronic configuration like this 2p4 and 2p4 we have to write so total how many electrons 4 plus 4 it is having the 8 electron system it is having the 8 electronic system so here anti bonding and bonding will be there so anti bonding how many 4 bonding will be 4 this is the fixed value so 4 plus 4 so here here is there so the number is above the 6 is there whatever we discussed in the previous example the two are having the exactly 6 and below the 6 it is having but here what will happen it is having the more than the 6 it is having this time what will happen no? how many electrons is there whether it is the 8 whether it is the 9 whether it is the 10 whether it is the 11 whether it is the 12 whatever it may be so take the 6 electron and add it to the bonding electron so take the 6 electron and add, add it to the bonding electron so out of 8 i am taking the 6 electron i am taking how many electron will be left two electron will be left the two electrons you have to add to the anti bonding orbital you have to add so total how many and anti bonding electron how many six anti bonding electrons so total bonding how many 10 bonding will be there so how can you calculate the bond order so 10 minus 6 by 2 you have to identify the bond order 4 by 2 is equal bond order is 2 bond order is 2 anti bonding electrons are 6 bonding electrons are 10 even though it is having the diamagnetic nature even though it is having the even number of the electrons it is belongs to the di um, paramagnetic nature next one is o2 plus so o2 plus how can you write oxygen plus o plus so total how many electrons uh, will be there oxygen whose atomic number is 8 uh, another oxygen also 8 will be there but what will happen one positive charge will be there so it is will be like 7 it is 15 so 15 so is the odd number of the electrons will be there so it is a paramagnetic nature so here uh, paramagnetic nature we will find out the anti bonding model electron that time what we have to do just write the electronic configuration 2p4 for, for the one oxygen op plus it will uh, o plus it will become 2p3 so total how many electrons 7 electrons will be there so outer shell containing how many valency electrons seven valency electrons uh, both o, o, oxygen and o plus it is having so that now what you have to do just anti bonding bonding so four four fixed value so here uh, to, out of seven six electron added to the bonding so two so how many electron will be take one electron will be take so it is five it is like ten so bond order is ten anti bonding minus uh, bonding by two 5 by 2 so bond order will be like 2.5 so by practicing also you can uh, without calculation also you can do e very easily you can do do the like this next one is NO NO molecule I have to identify so see here NO nothing but N plus oxygen so 7 plus 8 is equal 15 15 electronic system so electronic configuration is 2p3 and 2p4 
four. Total how many? Seven electrons will be there. Right leg like bonding, anti bonding. Bonding four, four fixed value. So out of seven, take the six, add to the B. Every time you have to add. If it is the below six is there, how many number is there? If it is one is there, add to the bonding. If it is two is there, add to the bonding. If it is three, four, five, six, up to six you can add. More than six is there. That time we have to add the how many number more than six is there. We have to add here. So six. So how many electron will be left? One. So total ten. Bonding will be ten. Anti bonding will be five. So bond order will be like ten minus five by two is equal. 2.5 is the bond order for this molecule. So see here, next one is O2 minus. O2 minus I want to identify. So O2 minus how can you write? O plus O minus we can write nothing but how can you write? So 8 plus 9 is equal 17 electronic system. It is a 17 electronic system. So it is 15. So it is a odd number. So it is a paramagnetic nature. So it is a having the 17 electronic system it is having so write the p orbitals electronic configuration so it will become like 2p4 it will become like one electron we are adding 2p5 so total how many nine electrons will be uh, are there so bonding anti-bonding so four four fixed value so out of nine six electron added to the bonding electron you have to add so six so how many electrons three electron will be left so total will be like 10 here it will be 7 will be there so total bonding electrons are 10 anti bonding electrons are 7 will be there so how can you calculate the bond order so 10 minus 7 anti bonding minus bonding by 2 so here uh, whatever the bonding electrons is there uh, um, bonding electron anti bonding electron whatever is there you have to uh, write like this bonding electron minus anti bonding electron by 2 so how much you will get you will get the 1.5 so bond order is 1.5 it is having the 17 uh, electronic system it is a uh, odd number so it is becomes like a paramagnetic nature so by uh, next example is O2 minus O2 minus 2 so O2 minus 2 that means what 9 plus 9 so O minus plus O minus so 9 plus 9 so totally 18 electronic system electronic configuration uh, electronic configuration will be like 2p5 plus 2p5 total 10 electrons will be 10 electrons will be there so 10 electrons will be there how can you write the 10 electrons total 10 electrons is there out of 10 6 electron we have to, to we have to add to the bonding electron you have to add so bonding anti bonding bonding is 4 fixed anti bonding is 4 fixed so out of 10, 6 electron you have to add, remaining 4 electron you have to add. So total here 10, here will be 8. So how can you calculate the bond order? 10 minus 8 by 2 is equal to 2 by 2 is equal bond order will be like 1. So it is having how many electrons? It is having the 18 electron, 18 electronic system. So 18 electron system, even number. So it is the even number system it is having the diamagnetic nature it is having the diamagnetic nature so next one is ne2 ne2 we have to find out the uh, bond order anti bonding electrons so paramagnetic nature diamagnetic nature we have to find out so ne2 is there how can you calculate it so first you have to count the how many electrons is there so one neon having 10 another neon having the 10 electron total 20 electrons will be there uh, so total 20 electrons so write the electronic configuration so so it will be like 2p6 and it will be like 2p6 so total how many 12 electrons it is it is having the 12 electronic system it is having 12 electron system so right bonding right antibody so four fixed four values fixed so out of the uh, out of 12 you have to add the six to the bonding so total how many 10 bonding electrons so how many electron will be left 12 after all, subtracting from the six it will be this so 10 both the anti bonding and bonding electrons are equal so how can you calculate the bond order so bond order will be like it is a, a zero it is having the even number of the electrons it is having uh, so it is called as a diamagnetic nature it is called as a diamagnetic nature so next one is uh, for this molecule 2 2 molecule we can easily calculate what about the uh, NO, NO2 what about the N2O4 the time what will so whatever it may be if it is having the even number uh, that is called as a paramagnetic nature if it is having the uh, odd number that is called uh, that is called as a even number that is called as a diamagnetic nature if it is called an odd number that is called as a paramagnetic nature 
so like NO2, N2O4, N2O5, uh, N2O3, like this method, what we have to do, just to how to count the how many valency electrons is there, just to how to add the valency electrons, you can easily find out the whether it is the paramagnetic nature, whether it is the diamagnetic nature. So now I am taking the example of the uh, NO2, I am taking example. See here, what nitrogen will be there, two oxygen uh, will be there. Uh, so here, um, how can you calculate the whether I want to identify whether it is the paramagnetic nature, whether it is the diamagnetic nature. So write like this, nitrogen, oxygen and oxygen. So below this, uh, below this, what you have to write, we have to write its group number, you have to write or its valency, you have to write. So nitrogen, uh, how many valence electrons is there? Only five valence electrons is there. So oxygen, how many? Six will be there. So this oxygen also will be six. That means if you are adding the sum of the group numbers, you will get the sum number. If it is the even number, that is called as a diamagnetic nature. If it is a odd number, that is called as a paramagnetic nature. So here, how much? How, how much you will get? You will get the seventeen. So seventeen in the sense it is odd number. It is called as a paramagnetic paramagnetic nature. It is called as a paramagnetic nature. So next one is N two O four. An example is equal N two. O4. N2 O4 in the sense what? Write like this only 2N plus 4 oxygen. So write the uh, val how many valence electrons is there. So nitrogen containing the 5 valence electron. Group number is also 5. So oxygen having the 6 valence electrons. So 6. So here by adding this you will get the number 2 5 are 10. 34 number 34 number you will get so it is a even number so its nature is will be like diamagnetic diamagnetic nature so any atoms any any molecule this is the uh, process will be there next one is very important cl bo2 like this also same cl oxygen and oxygen so after writing like this, just you have to take the valency electrons you can take or otherwise uh, you can take the group number also you can take. So it is 7, 6 plus 6. So after writing this, I will get 19 electron. So CLO2 contain how many electron? 19 electron. It is a odd number system. So it is a paramagnetic nature for example if you are uh, not uh, not at all to identify the how many valence electrons is there next method is also is there what is this cl vote 2 is there na total whatever the atomic number is there just to we have to add the sum of the atomic number that means cl plus oxygen plus oxygen chlorine atomic number is 7 oxygen atomic number is uh, 8 another oxygen atomic number is also 8 so how much you will get you will get the 33 number you will get so 33 number so if you add the valency electron or if you add the total number of the electrons in the molecule if you get if it is the even number uh, that is called as a uh, diamagnetic so if it is uh, odd number that is called the paramagnetic except 10 and 16 electron next one is n2 o3 here also you can count so n2 o3 is there no so how many uh, nitrogens or uh, two nitrogens is there so 7 into I am taking the electrons, the total electrons, I am taking the total electron. So that like, like, like that also you can get. So next one. Otherwise you can take the, uh, whatever the, you can take the uh, uh, number of the electrons, you can take number of the valence electrons also you can take. But here I am taking the num total number of the electrons I am taking. So total th 3 oxygen, each oxygen having the 8 electron. So total 14 plus 24. So total it is having the 38. 